friends, welcome to My Little Corner on the interwebs. If you're new here, my name is Kathleen and I'm autistic with a heavy dash of ADHD. Some of you may or may not know that my special interest, well one of them, is nutrition and food. I love cooking, I love eating, I love knowing the science behind it and what it does to the body. So for today's video, I thought that it would be fun to do a little fridge tour and kind of walk you through what my meal prep tends to look like. Full disclosure, I do not do this every week. I would love it if I did, that is my goal, but if I'm being realistic with you and myself, I do not do this every week. This video is also just meant for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is definitely not saying that you should be eating what I am eating. Everybody's body is different and requires different things. This is just what I like to feed myself and my family in one week. And again, it's a glimpse into one week. We eat different things all of the time. Also, in the spirit of being honest, I want to show you guys what my kitchen looks like because it's ridiculous but it is also real life. <laughs> there she is. Disaster. So we'll go ahead and start with the fridge tour first. As you can see, our light doesn't work. That went out like a solid year and a half ago and you know, I don't change things. <laughs> so here is a quick glimpse of my refrigerator. All of the condiments over here. So just a quick little walk through. Things that I always have are good quality pasture raised eggs, some creamer for coffee, a little bit of full fat yogurt. I don't do dairy all of the time but during the pregnancy it's been feeling really good so I'm including it. I've got some meats, um, pickles because again hella pregnant. <laughs> And then down here, I have marinades, olives, uh, some cut up veg. We'll go through a lot of that because a lot of that's my meal prep. Some fruits, some milk, and then fruit drawer and veg drawer. Oh, almost forgot the important one. Cheese drawer, that's necessary. So here's a quick glimpse of all of the meal prep that I did this week. We'll go through each individual item and I'll explain kind of why I package it a certain way or why I decided to include it in my meal prep. So on the weeks that I do get around to doing meal prep, I follow pretty much the same blueprint plan. The items change and um, are different, but for the most part, I follow a pretty strict blueprint um, that I found works best for me and my family. So the first thing is that I really like to wash and prep my vegetables for the week. This makes including them during the week significantly easier when I don't have to think about it and all I have to do is throw it on a sheet pan with a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and roast it. So that is what I did. This week I sliced up some mushrooms and I plan on making um, a couple of dishes using this, but these are just really nice to like saute with eggs in the morning or um, throw into stir fries. You can use them in a lot of different ways. I really enjoy mushrooms, so I got those. And then I also got some zucchini and bell pepper. Honestly, the bell pepper was in there from last week, so I just included it and I've been munching on it all day. It's really good. Really good source of vitamin C. Fun fact, bell peppers have more vitamin C than an orange. <laughs> so I sliced those and I'll eat those raw or I'll cook them. I can use them in a lot of different ways. And then the zucchini, I plan on grilling. So what I did is just wash them and then put these little slices in them. And what I'll do when it's time to cook them is put a little bit of oil on them salt and pepper, whatever seasonings, and then I grill them and it gets all inside of there. It's really delicious. It gets a nice char on it. So that's what I did with these. I also got a head of broccoli and a head of cauliflower. Um, so for the broccoli, just chopped it up, put it in a plastic bag. Um, I was hoping that it would all fit in this tub, but it did not. And then the cauliflower, I did the same thing. For this one though, I lined it with a paper towel um, and that way it just helps keep the moisture out. 
and that's going to prevent it from going bad quicker. And then the last part of the produce were our berries. This was something that I learned off of TikTok and I did it as an experiment week before last and it worked amazingly and I'm never going back and that is putting your berries in an airtight glass container. I always, I never wash my berries when I get them. I wash them as I use them because the more moisture that's added, the faster that they go bad. And so I just don't, and I wash them right before use. Um, so I got a little thing of blackberries, a little thing, well, a big thing of strawberries since they're in season. Um, we're getting them anyways, we're close. And also a container of blueberries. It doesn't want to focus. The next thing that I really like to do in my meal preps is make a sauce of some sort. I like having sauces in the fridge. Uh, they add a lot of flavor. You can toss them onto your veggies. You can use them as marinades. You can use them as salad dressings. So having a sauce, and it changes for us from week to week, uh, but having a sauce on hand in the fridge is really helpful to spice up dishes um, and make them more flavorful without a lot of work. So for this week, I plan on doing uh, steak kebabs on the barbecue. And so I made a cilantro parsley um, chimichurri. And this is just a really nice herby sauce. A little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, a garlic, clove, um, and then your herbs. Um, and you can do different types of herbs, but that's what I did this week and it turned out really yummy. So I'll just put that on the steak once it's cooked. Um, I will also toss this probably with the cauliflower. I've done that before and it's really, really yummy. So I'll cook the cauliflower up and then at the end I'll finish it with this and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So good. The next little sauce that I made is actually a marinade. Um, and usually I will put this with the meats and then let it sit until the day that I cook it. But the meat that we're cooking really only needs to marinate for four to six hours. Otherwise the meat gets tough. And so I just put it in a jar and I will pour it on top of the meat come the day that we make it. Uh, but this is for the steak. This is just a simple um, coconut aminos olive oil, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of Worcestershire, and then some herbs. The next thing that I like to do in my meal prep is make either a breakfast dish or a snack dish. Those have been the things that have, have seemed to be the most helpful for us and our family, um, and the times when we usually end up grabbing quick, unhealthier things. So I like to just have those on hand since I know that that is in our nature. Honestly, since I've been home, breakfast has not really been that that big of a concern. So I've been mostly sticking to snacks. But this week I saw a recipe for a French toast casserole that looked amazing and my pregnant self needed that this week. So that's what I did. So it's not as pretty right now because I cooked it this morning, but it will store really well and it'll reheat really well. And so this is, <laughs> it is not pretty at all, but it was delicious. So for that recipe, I wanted to make it a little bit uh, more health minded. And so I used a loaf of really, really good quality, traditional, uh, true sourdough bread. Uh, there's a local company around here and they do one with cinnamon in it and it's just delicious. And I typically don't include a lot of gluten in my diet. Um, again, with being pregnant, it's feeling a little bit better to have some of it in my diet. So I'm not super strict, but when you're eating a true sourdough, there's actually less gluten in it uh, than a traditional bread. And the fermenting process makes it a lot easier for the body to break down and digest. So I chose to use that and then I used eight really good quality pasture raised eggs and three cups of grass fed whole milk. That was pretty much the base. You chop up your bread into like one inch slices, put it into your baking dish, pour that um, egg mixture on top of it. Uh, you can add vanilla extract if you want, you can add cinnamon if you want, um, but that's pretty much just like the base of it. That's a really good source of fats and proteins and carbohydrates all together. And then I topped it with some cold dollops of butter uh, and a little bit of cinnamon sugar on top. And then I just put it in the fridge, let it soak overnight, and uh, this morning popped it into the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes and it was 
delicious. The last part of my meal prep process is typically making something. So a lot of this stuff is has to do more with just prepping and putting the vegetables and produce and everything away properly. Um, and then maybe making one baked item or snack item. And then the last part does actually involve some cooking. Um, but I, what I really like to do is make a really big dish of something simple. So a huge pot of soup or, um, you know, so like a, a big rice bowl, something like that, that we can have for dinner that night so that I'm not having to cook that plus dinner. But I'm going to be cooking a large amount of whatever it is and that's going to be my lunches for the next few days. So since it's summer out, I decided to do something a little bit more fresh and light and so I found this Greek orzo pasta salad. Um, again, a little bit of gluten in there, but you could totally swap out these for a gluten-free pasta um, or a rice, a couscous, um, or a quinoa would be delicious as well. I chose to stick with the orzo. It's really simple. All it has is um, sliced up cucumbers, red pepper, I'm sorry, red onion, <laughs> katamala olives, I had a really hard time saying that. Uh, tomatoes, some feta, and then a really simple Greek dressing. And I grilled up some shrimp to have with this, um, and it was delicious. And now I have, this will be lunch for a couple of days at least. So that's it for my fridge tour and walk through my meal prep process. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you do meal prep, what are your favorite things to meal prep? What are your favorite recipes? I love getting inspiration. And I will see you in the next video.